So you want to install a new Proton version because somebody mentioned it in a video and you don't have it installed. Well, it's quick and easy. First off, you need to be in desktop mode, then go to system and the discover store. As soon as this opens, hit the search button in the top right and you want to search for either Qt or Proton here. Now, if like me in the first instance, the keyboard does not pop up when you press Steam X, you need to make sure that Steam is running in the background. So if that's not the case, then launch Steam and then you'll be able to get your Steam keyboard back. So as I said, search Qt, it's usually the first answer here, Proton up Qt. But you can also search for Proton and it will be the first one in the list as well. And you could also pick up Proton Tricks if you want to install things like Disable Dynamic Resolution, for example, later down the line. But for Proton Up QT, just download that. I already had it installed. So once it's installed, you can then find it in the Utilities menu and just launch Proton Up QT. Now, by default, it will pick the Steam install for. So if you only are managing Proton versions for Steam, then you can just leave this selected and then you can hit add version. By default, this will pick up the latest GE Proton version. You can see that at the time of this video, it was 7.25, which I didn't actually have. So I was going to install that as I've been using GE Proton 7.24 up until this point. Just hit that install button depending on your download speed it usually takes around one to two minutes and once you've got that installed you'll now be able to select it as a compatibility mode in steam however if you had steam running and you just go to do this straight away afterwards you will notice that it's not in the compatibility list as you actually need to restart steam but if you were looking to switch back to game mode straight away then that also actually restart Steam. So if you installed it and go to game mode, then it would be in that list. If you're staying in desktop mode though, however, just exit out of Steam. And it's also good practice to remove any other Proton versions that you don't use as it takes around a gig per version. So that can mount up on the very limited space on Steam Deck. So if you just restart Steam after installing that Proton version, you will now see it in the compatibility list and you'll be able to use it to play your games. At the time of this video, Steam officially is up to 7.03. So you can see the GE Proton versions are way ahead of the official versions and does in a lot of instances fix some of the game issues, but not all. And that's where Proton Experimental can still help quite a lot. Either way, it's quick and easy to switch between the versions once you've got them here. And some games require a specific Proton version, so it's very handy to have Proton Up QT to get those versions. Now, just very quickly, you can use this to also manage your other Proton versions for Lutrus and the Hero Launcher. However, I have found that running a lot of the launchers directly with these custom Proton versions are more successful than using Lutrus or the Heroic launchers individually. So there you have it. There's how to manage your Proton versions on Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below if this is useful and give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.